Well, it's finished now. Uh, I've looked very carefully into a few little problems that I had. Uh, one uh, was quite remarkable in that uh, I realized that it was only running in a single acting form. The top two oscillating vents here in the central part were somehow obstructed and uh, I had to drill out in the top uh, the plugs, re-drill the holes and reassemble the engine uh, and now it's running much better. Double acting, that's to say the air or steam pressure is working on both sides of the cylinder and uh, or cylinders and uh, it's self-starting every time. Anyway, it's running very nicely and uh, I'm very pleased with it indeed. Um, what more can I, can, uh, can I say? So uh, there it is, done, and I'm now working on producing uh, working drawings, a manual, and uh, a video of the entire construction so that anybody that wishes to make his own inline twin cylinder double acting oscillating self starting reversible steam engine which would be ideal for a small boat uh, then I hope I'm going to be able to do it and not waste too much time on it but anyway here it is the engine is finished and I'm very happy with it. Thank you. Here it is finished. Runs very nicely in both directions. Varial speed, self starting. This is the throttle and reversing valve. Cylinder number one, cylinder number two. Let me see if you can get a nice better close-up. Well, I think you've had a good look at it. You can see it run now on, uh, on compressed air. Now, at the moment, I'm going to... It will run in an anti-clockwise direction, uh, or clockwise looking on the drive shaft. Speed, reduce it. So bring this down. That's a nice, nice slow speed. Slow speed in the opposite direction. And as you can see, it's self starting. Here we'll get a better close up view, and we'll start. And let's, let's see a nice slow.
himself starting. There we are. Get a nice little end. 